Welcome to Rumu Hotel. Can I help you? Yeah, you wanna check in, right? You look so tired. Okay, let me help you to wipe your sweaters on your hands. So, where are you from? Ah, it's a beautiful country. Is this your first time to Beijing? Okay. You alone? You look so tired. I hope this can help you relax. Okay. Wait for a moment. I prepared a cup of tea for you. Do you like tea? Yes. Okay. This is green tea, which is made in Hangzhou, China. It is specially made for you. You want to have a drink? Okay. Okay. How's it? Okay. Here you can have a drink by yourself. If you want to add more hot water, please tell me. Okay. Okay. You wanna check in, and uh, can I have your passport firstly? Yes, your passport. Okay. Okay. Um, what kind of room do you like? Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you smoke or not? Okay. And how long will you stay in my hotel? Can you give me your credit card in case of some additional or extra spendings? Okay, I wait for you. Okay, I will keep it for you. Okay, um, please wait for a moment. I will get your home key for you, okay? Yeah, it is specially made for my customers. 
There's a map here. The wood. And uh, there is a QR code. You can contact me if you have any troubles or questions. You can tell me and I will definitely help you. Okay? Okay. Are you You're welcome. Okay. But um, for the moment, I know it is your first time to Beijing, China. So, following, I will give you some places, tourist attractions, food, and entertainment suggestions. Okay. And uh, the first place is here. Do you know here? It's Forbidden City, Gu Gong. Yeah, the main color of it is red and golden because Chinese people think the golden means glorious and the red, and the red can bring you luck. So, in many many traditional Chinese buildings, the main color is. It is the Forbidden City. It is in the center of Beijing. It has seven hundred and twenty thousand square meters, square kilometers. Yes. It is the world's biggest royal palace. Can I introduce the routes you can visit? Can you see it clearly? It's very big, very big. Okay, so the Forbidden City is mainly divided into two parts, briefly divided. So from this is first part, and this is the second part. First part is、uh, provided for some ceremony, some reception, some banquets for the、uh, empress and his guests, and the second part is the living spaces or work spaces for the empress or the empress and、uh, their families. Yes, and here you will go into here, the the gate. Called woman in Chinese. You go there and visit here and there. These two these two places is provided for some the martial soldier, martial soldier, and、uh, these literal literals for for the empress. Okay, and these two are the dining halls. You can have lunch and dinner here. And then you visit this place. This place is for Cixi. It is a most famous, most known、uh, empress in China's history. And then you get here. You go into the empress and empress's living space. This place are really beautiful. I hope you can spend more time here. And finally, you go out at this gate. It is called Shenwumen. Okay. Okay, cool. And、uh, let me see. Let me show you some beautiful sceneries. It is Jiao Lou. Jiao Lou. Near the Forbidden City, and、uh, it's so beautiful, right? The blue skies and the clouds. Yeah, and、uh, the sunset in this place is also very beautiful. Very beautiful. 
you can see the river reflects reflects its shadow, right? I hope you can enjoy it with your family or your friends. Okay. And、uh, my favorite season to go there is winter. Can you see it? The winter snows. Because I live in the southern part of China, I seldom see snows, so I eager to go there to see snows in Forbidden City. And、uh, the second place, I think you know it. Yeah, it is the Great Wall. Great Wall. There is an old saying in China that.、Uh, You will not be a hero if you never come to the Great Wall of China. So, do you want to be a hero? It was built in Qin Dynasty and continuously built by his descendants more than two thousand years. It has fifty thousand kilometers. You can see. All these are the Great Walls. Yeah, it is very great. I think you will be amazed by its view. You you will definitely go there one day. Yeah, and I think、uh, the you can go there. In any seasons of a year, because in each season, the scenery is very is all beautiful. Yeah, no matter is spring, summer, fall or winter, it will be all very beautiful. Yeah, you can see there are lots lots of mountains. And pay attention. Don't forget to wear your running shoes. Because last time I went there, I wear my high heels. Stupid me. Yeah. And this is the Great Wall of China. And.、Uh, We can see the next one. Do you know it? I think you might you might think it looks like the building in the Forbidden City, right? <laughs> Because you see red and gold, but it is not a building in Forbidden City. It is Yihuyuan, which is summer. Palace. Yeah, it is also very, very beautiful. It is the oldest royal palace in the world, and also it is the most well-preserved royal places. Okay, will you go to the Summer Palace? You have to go there. This place, yeah, it is a bridge. The name of it is Thirteen Arches Bridge. You may ask, why it is thirteen? <laughs> Because the river is very wide, so it needs many arches here. And、uh, in China, do you know which number is our lucky number? It's nine. So let's count here, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Let's remember this one. It's nine. It's in the middle, right? Okay. Let's count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is the same hole. So amazing, right? So if we have double nine, we have the double lucky. It's very meaningful in Chinese way. So, what is your lucky number? Can you tell me? What's your lucky number? Okay, I got it. Okay, it is really, really beautiful. Especially you go there in the sunset. You can see golden shines on the rivers. Yeah. You will have a try. And、uh, next, I'm gonna introduce you the delicious food for you. Are you a foodie? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Before that, I'm gonna teach you how to use this. Yeah, it's chopsticks. Chinese chopsticks, right? Okay. So firstly, you will hand it.、Um, you can hand it、uh, with your right hand or with your left hand. It's all okay.、And、I will use my right hand, this hand, and、uh, I will divide it into three parts. One, two, three, and I will handle here. It's like. Two thirds of it, yeah. Two thirds of it. Okay. Okay. This way. Your thumb here, put here, and your point finger with here. Yeah, here, with your thumb, and the, the middle finger is hand in the first chopstick, and the ring finger the second. So let's move it, okay? And、uh, move the upper chopstick. Okay, let's try. Right, move together. Right. It seems that、um, I can、uh, only move the first one. Okay, let's change another side. Right, it's good enough for our first to move just one, one chopstick. So now, can you use it right now to hold it on the two thirds of the chopsticks, and then your thumb, point finger, and middle finger, and your ring finger. Okay, let's use it. Okay, very good. Okay, after the introduction, the teaching of how to use chopsticks, I'm gonna introduce you some delicious food. Okay. Okay. What's this? What is this? It is a duck. Beijing rose duck. It looks so delicious, right? So delicious, and there's a light here. Oh yeah. And、uh, let's look at the next page. Yeah. After you order a Beijing rose duck, the chef will slice it into small pieces. Like this, can you see it? And then there are some side dishes. I will teach you how to eat it. Okay. So firstly, you will take a a wrapper. This is a wrapper. Maybe you can't see it very clearly. It is a wrapper here. And then this is a cucumber. Cucumber. Can you see it? Maybe it's not clear. Okay. 
you can see it, see it in this way. And then cucumber, take take cucumber and have some sauce. Put it into your wrapper, and then and this is the sliced green onion. Take some green onions, put some sauce, and wrap it all in the wrapper, and add some uh roast duck into your wrapper. Wrap it, and you can enjoy yourself. The meat is super delicate, very delicate. I think you can you can't stop eating it. Yeah, it's super delicious. It's very crispy. It's very delicate, and it is super super yummy. Yes, you can see it.、Uh, yeah, I think、uh, if I put far away from you, you can look it more much more clear, right? Okay. Good. And next is, do you know this? Do you know it? It is bing tang hu lu. Bing tang hu lu, which is the、uh, hawthorn. Do you know hawthorn? Yeah, it is hawthorn with the honeys. It is very very traditional Chinese street food in Beijing. Yeah, you can see it in the very corner of Beijing Street or in every、uh, 胡同 Do you know 胡同 Yeah. When I was a kid, I really like eat it because it is very sweet. Yeah, you can have a try when you go there. It's very cheap, like just one to two renminbi. Yeah. Okay. The next one is. No, it's not hapad. Not hapad. It is shuan yang ru. Do you know yang ru? Yang rou is、uh, the sheep meat. Yeah, the sheep. It is uh, often uh, eaten in winter because the sheep meat can warm your body. Yeah. The main dish is this meat, and we can also have some vegetables, some meat vegetables. Yeah, some vegetables and meat, so you will not be fat after dinner. Yeah, shuan yang rou, the meat, the sheep, sheep, sheep part, is very very popular in Beijing. Very popular. Yeah, I I hope you can taste it. And、uh, finally. If you love Chinese culture, you can never miss it. It is Beijing Opera. Yeah, the beautiful clothes and these head decorates beautiful, and and the how to say hand handband. Yeah, beautiful and very. Stressed makeups. Have you ever watched Beijing Opera? It is characterized by stylistic gestures and high pitch scenes. The most well known character in Beijing Opera is is him, the Monkey King. Do you know Monkey King? He's very, very famous and popular in China. Every child likes him very much. When I, when I, when I was a child, I loved see his cartoons 
his TV shows and his dramas. Yeah, his face like a monkey, right? Like a monkey. It is the faces.、Uh, the makeup is kind of stressed, right? You can see. Hey, the eyes are enlarged, and the very very red face. Yeah, he's very charmful. He's really charmful and、uh, powerful. Yeah. So if you go to Beijing, I think you'd. Uh, what's more, you can you can, you will never miss miss him, miss Beijing Opera. Yes. Okay. And、uh, that is all about my introduction of the entertainment, the food, and the places for you. Hope you can enjoy your visit to Beijing, and welcome to Beijing. Have a nice day. Bye bye.